Hey, uh, hey, uh, welcome. Happy, happy choose there. Hey, Tara, Landry, Landry, thanks for the resubscription as well. Six months. <laughs> wow, that's cool. Um, and yeah, that's all the things suggested. Of course, it would be through the giant plush, which I'm, I'm sort of expecting like very soon. I'm no doubt. And yeah, hey, Mary and uh, Sheepster. <laughs> how's it? How's it going? Got some things to do. Hope it's nothing. I hope it's nothing too bad or anything. But uh, yeah, so um, we've got. Oh, there it is. Ow! <laughs> oh god! I was waiting for it. I'm gonna keep the threat over your head. Don't worry, Landry. It's 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 like it, it it'll happen regardless of you you do it or not. <laughs> oh, and then, I mean, case in point, <laughs> it's a chameleon. <laughs> Oh god. Yeah, well it can be a lot of things. Actually, do you know what? It's been birds a lot, so like finally it's actually not been a bird for once. <laughs> I don't know why it's been birds so much. It just seems to have happened for some reason. I'm, I'm not really sure why. But um yeah, anyway, so continuing on today with the Battletech campaign. Um we just got up to the next part of the uh, actual story mission, so that'll be interesting. We'll see. See where that goes with that. <laughs> Resistance and fuel, so don't, so you don't bother trying. <laughs> yeah, that's that's fair enough. So anyway, let's uh, let's continue with our uh, career. I should have just loaded this. I don't know why I didn't just load into the actual save. Now we've got to actually wait. <laughs> it's so you could experience the loading as well. You know, I think that's important. Not really. <laughs> It does feel like sometimes it takes a while to load, though. Um, but yeah, we've been we've been doing okay so far. Finished campaign on your modded run. Ooh. Yeah. Well, this is still the very much unmodded run. Um, but like first first playthrough and everything. Of course, I'm gonna have it unmodded. I think it's silly um to do it like if if you're doing a first playthrough, I always like would say always do it unmodded like whatever it might be and then go on because then then at least you know like what the base game's like and then and then you know what what exactly you're getting into for the modding and everything um i always think it's funny when people start modding a bunch of things and then don't know why things have broken or why certain things work a certain way Weldry, one of the most notorious hellholes in the Oregon Reach. Everything about this place is hostile to human life. Well, it's Australia. And for the past three years, Espinosa has used it as a dumping ground for his political enemies. So it's Australia. <laughs> <laughs> of course, the only game is the mod of the back is the book that's the games. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh have been more a bit more pointless to play now like especially with starfield oh god i couldn't even i couldn't even get into starfield uh the, the directorate has prison complex on the planet's surface the inmates call it the ice box <laughs> you never thought about that but yes it's basically space australia <laughs> uh the image on the imposing structure appears on your view screen. It has a solid, heavy walls that you've come to associate with Turian architecture. The holding facility for political prisoners, including high-value hostages, members of the founding families, spouses, sons, daughters. If we liberate the prison and set them free, we break Espinosa's leverage on over the founding houses. The political map will change overnight. A handful of places you can't pee, go Australia is one of those. Really? Australia? I mean, for all of the like everything is out to kill you in Australia thing, I don't think it's I don't think it's like quite as that bad. I think there's far worse places to go in the world, honestly. <laughs> Make sure to ask why Belgi somebody Okay, okay. Um we don't know what the director director has been doing to our people there. But we set them for uh but we have to set them free. Not just for the play or gain. But because they're our people. And we need your help to do it. Um, 
and the family lawns leaves supposed to be part of this piece. What makes Wellery so inhospitable? Everything from the sub zero client to the ineligible, uh, inedible vegetation. The whole planet is infested with blood sucking insects. The swarms can stretch for miles. Ugh. You shitting me. <laughs> I'm afraid not. They're called Branson's mosquitoes. Imagine a colony of fly, uh, a colonial biting fly the size of your thumb. So it's carriers for harmful bacteria. And you're dropping infantry there on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> the army will be safe. Population centers like Icebox use ultrasonics to keep the swarms at bay. But I thank you for your concern, Mr. Vern. Uh, Vitarian. It is space history. Other than other than the climate, mind. It said it was sub zero, so um, <laughs> it's like it's like opposite space Australia. It's Australia, but like the right way up. <laughs> Call Australia. <laughs> uh, aren't founding lords and ladies supposed to be the powerless figureheads? There are different kinds of power, Kuga. The founding houses may be anemic in the forms of martial strength, but the words still carry weight in the Orogian Ar Ar reach. I can't remember how to pronounce that. If they, if they rally behind us, the people who love them will follow. Governments will be have been toppled with less. So you've got an army. What do you need us for? Subtle divisive of action. Wait, so what? The pilot giant mechs. I'm, I'm sorry, but <laughs> I mean, I guess, I guess, other than a giant army, I suppose you can be slightly less subtle than a giant army. Only just. Oregon, Oregon reach. Okay, got it. I will lead the army in an all-out assault in the uh, director's primary spaceport. After I've drawn their attention, you will sneak in, pack the icebox, and liberate it. We'll set my uncle's hostages free and put the founding families in our debt. In all in one fell swoop. Uh. <laughs> in my experience, operations of this skill rarely go according to plan, yet pretty much. But that's why it changes on the field. I know, Kuga, and that's one of the major reasons why I need you on this drop. You adapted the chaos of the battlefield of Commodore. I'll be counting you to do the same here. I'll remain in radio contact with you after you hit the ground. Good hunting, Cougar. Give my uncle troops the hell they have earned. After the director of presence in the planet has been crushed and the icebox has been liberated, we'll regroup to celebrate our victory. Should we should just celebrate it now, it's guaranteed. Presumably there are more mechs with the army. Yeah, a true, true. I mean, they just did specify infantry, though. That's that's kind of the thing. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's, that's a good point. That's a good point as well. Um, I just, I just like the idea of like these giant, giant, several ton mechs. And then saying, oh, yeah, you're doing this subtle action. I mean, I understand, like, on a planetary scale of things. Yeah, sure, a mech's, like, not very big, but still. <laughs> or even a city-sized thing, it's it, still, it's not a very big thing or anything. But, you know. Are you aware the Icebox prison camp? Destroy all Directorate forces. Liberate the Icebox from Directorate control. Okay, that's gonna be Command interface probably initiated. similar enough. This is it's sub zero though, so that means cooling's gonna be fine. There are two entrances of the complex, some kind of Intel says that each is defended by a series of elevated turrets. Oh, of course. I'm also seeing an LRM in place between the two checkpoints, of course. Battlemech defences should be practically nil, as predicted. 
Lady Arano's preemptive strike has already drawn the prisoners' standard garrison away. I'm seeing heavy vehicles and turrets on my screen. Nothing you can't handle. Clear away the opposition and capture the prison. Lady Arano and the rest uh, Restoration Army will take care of the rest. Good hunting, Commander. Good enough for me. Right, well, we'll probably want to take out... There's two turret... Oh, there's loads of turret... Uh, prison gate. I mean, obviously, you want to take out all of the turret ger generators, but I sort of feel like... <laughs> can we... Can we jump up here? Oh, I might be able to... I might be able to do this in a few jumps, perhaps. Affirmative. Although I think... No, I think everything has actually got jump jets. Except possibly me LRM one. But that would be fine. That'll still be able to hit things. Just needs other eyes on it. All right, can you jump? Yes, okay. Can jump up here and then actually start firing on these turret generators. An enemy contact straight away. Why is it just the generators? Well, you're on the Vindicator as well. You can jump up and. I'll just jump these up. If you ever bother with jump jets, missions like these be far easier. <laughs> yeah, jump jets seems like really, really, really super duper useful in this game. I'm sure jump jets would be really useful in MechWarrior f as well. Um, if I ever actually bothered to use them and got used to using them. Oh, poor. <laughs> Put a decker here in. I forgot to change the. Oh, I forgot to change the mechorries around. I didn't mean to leave decker in in this um in the shadow hawk. Um, that's fine. You can actually stay here because I'll just fire. I'm gonna just fire with uh, um some missiles. Um, I feel like that one's just going to be destroyed, like, almost straight away. No problem. I've got enough gun for everyone. Receiving you. You can't move, really. I'll, I'll just jump you down, I guess. Should have jumped. Oh, I should have jumped. Um, Lich down as well. Actually, never mind. On okay, I probably didn't need to hit it with all of the lasers, but let's hit it with all of the lasers. It's fine. It we need to take out these other ones though as well. Annoyingly. Uh, although that's now saying we no longer have contact, so we need to get over here. Commander. Which means you've got to actually go miles, really. Oh, I knew it. What is it? A vehicle? Oh, that's fine. Jumping. Please let us select. It's a bit annoying though while I'm doing like this bit of beforehand. Um, like when you can't sprint everything, if you do a jump though, you've got to wait for the full bloody jump to happen. It's like, why? It's really annoying. Um, standing by. You need you need to jump down anywhere. I think they're gonna have to jump down a lot though as well. So I'm gonna jump down and just 
destroy this vehicle, whatever it is. Oh. How though? We're being so subtle. Like, how did they notice us? Make a food channel expecting good food and instantly regret it. <laughs> hey, a 10. It's true. I don't I don't know what I expected. <laughs> yes, Commander. Waiting for orders. Alright, can I not get oh wait, no, I could get a point where I can see this vehicle. Cool. That will do. The exploded buildings definitely don't, you know, I know, or me, um, me completely, look, look at me mechs, me mechs like completely blend in as well. I mean, I, you can't even see them there, you know, they're perfectly colored for, for this environment. Yeah. So I knew you weren't really going to shoot that well, no but, boss. you know. Didn't expect Mary to have just a massive stash of cursed food pictures. No, it's just like, wh why? Why? <laughs> oh, I don't know if I, I'll actually be able to destroy this damn thing. No, I won't. What did it have on it? It had, oh no, SRMs and large lasers. Okay, so it's going to shoot something, but that's fine, really. It's not too bad. Oh, <laughs> pets and hydrate. Hello, Dejendra. Hey, welcome. And of course, bean made pink as well. <laughs> Duck? Where? <laughs> These prison gates on either side are going to be your best point. Turn me into the club X. I've got jump jets. Blow the jump and make your way inside. Or jump the walls. If you're Lance of Kip or it, you're, you're cool. <laughs> me as I'm just jumping around everywhere. Push on cool down. Aw. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> for now yeah not long not long as soon as that's cooled down it's like yes yeah, that's happening straight away i know it uh oh <laughs> uh, there it is straight away that's probably gonna happen on cooldown i think <laughs> like right now <laughs> A pink toucan for the pink kuruga. <laughs> no, it took my bird nonetheless. I know. I don't know why it's frequently birds. I promise. It's it's like, it's so weird. I mean, we had a chameleon first thing, so. Oh. Horrible. All of the turrets are getting us right now. We need to take out these generators. Like, spirit way, really. Oh, this is horrible. Ugh. Just made you want to sing Karma Canadian. <laughs> oh, oh, bugger. Oh. I accidentally tapped enter. I didn't want to reserve. Why there's only birds this isn't golf. <laughs> Ready for orders. Waiting on you, Commander. Right. Okay, we can actually get to a point where it would mostly be okay and start firing on these turret generators. We need to start firing on these turret generators, like quite desperately. That fat rubber thing is messing me up. I know, it's quite hard to press the key sometimes. It is. Right. Um. Right. 
I've got like this entire turn to take these out, so let's just try and do it. Might get lucky with some of these. Not quite. Why does Golf use versus terminology? I don't know, actually. There'll, for, there'll be a good reason, I'm sure. I'm sure. Good to go. Right. You could actually already fire on all of these. Move order received. Um, attack the one that's unhit because you can. Only, oh, that's not a great chance to hit, but no, oh well. Okay, okay. Maybe something to do with how golf balls were made originally. I'm not sure. Speaking of golf, what extreme sports did golfers do in their spare time? Hot park or oh no. <laughs> uh, terrible, terrible. Ooh, I'm slightly concerned that even going here, I might be in a... Oh, no. I could go here and shoot at these. Actually, no, I wouldn't. I'd only be able to get that with... Mm, I need to go here if I want to hit these with the medium lasers. Well, don't hit. Please don't hit me on mech. All right. So, A needs probably the most... Do something like that. Multiple enemies locked in. Oh, for God's sake, stop missing buildings. Building. I should have just told everyone to fire at one, one each. That's what I should have done. Now, at the minute, I'm probably going to have, like, all of the buildings. I shouldn't, I shouldn't, have, I shouldn't have spread these out. I just spread them out. Right. Nope. I hear ya. You're not going to get in with this, I think, where you can hit all of the. Oh, no, it's a couple of them. That one, the closest one, and then AC5 otherwise. So annoying. So annoying that the lowest health building is the one you'll actually be able to hit. With all lasers, all other ones. Ugh. Well, do you know what? Maybe we'll actually take out two of these. Oh, actually. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to use a shot too full. LM20 is with a call shot and we're trying to generate and damn things have survived. Yeah, yeah, I should. Um. Right, just target these two. Hit that. Yeah. I can't do that otherwise. So just do that. And please, for God's sake, don't miss. You did miss with a laser. Don't miss with this. Good. Why are you saying golf you funds? You've no idea. It's because we've just mentioned it. Golf's just been me mentioned. So it sort of makes sense. Just golfing around. <laughs> I'm a law. Uh, these turrets are ripping us apart. Commander. Yes, Commander. Oh, you're you're already like sort of overheating a bit. It's because I've had to do a lot of jumps as well, like annoyingly. Wait, is there, oh, there's tanks over here as well. Oh, of course there's tanks over here. Wait, hold on. Um, Orders. You're not going to be able to fire with everything. Moving to position. You forgot to put ammo in one of your mechs. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh, 
I'm, I'm, I'm put, are you, are you blaming me for the direction now? I'm, I'm putting you off with like, just my amazing gamer skills, obviously. Um, let's do something like that. No, there's more turret generators. Wait, why did that turret survive then? I'm under heavy fire. Distracted by the chance hit me in the face with the plushie. <laughs> Wait, is this destroyed? That is destroyed. No, all the turrets were destroyed. It's just that that was still around. Okay, cool. Good, goody, good, good. Um, right, I think I'll probably take out this. Oh, the strike is not going to take much. I want to take out this bulldog. <laughs> I'm playing for what to fight a pilot or at McDonald's. A big mark. <laughs> oh, very good. Very good. Let you see if you can't just. Oh. Re jump you and try and take out a couple of these two. Go up in a uh, bulldog. Another bulldog. Headshot, you're firing at tanks. I'm sorry, but what? Receiving you. Right. Please just fire everything out there and take it out. Oh, don't. That's fine as well, I guess. Which the appetizing of a child playing with mech action figurines without care of the world for what's actually going on. I know. Well, it was like the it was a mission before where it was on a snowy planet and it was like, oh, after the mission, come, we'll build snowmen. It's like, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, perfect. Go, go, um, go step on it. Ugh. Quish the bug. Ugh. I love the I like the, the MLA attack noise noises people make though. It's like why? <laughs> why don't werewolves live in holes? Because then there would be under werewolf. <laughs> no. Uh, she enjoys the working all but fun fact can actually miss stepping on time yeah yeah i can see there's a chance to, to hit again it, you've got to think about it that I, I think the best way to really think about it is that everything's moving everything's moving now uh so even though everything looks still it's because it's turn based but like if you go and try and step on something that's moving yeah you might miss And it's a whole thing of like the missing like the point blank shots. You know, you still have a chance of doing that if things are moving around because it's, it's still kind of hard to hit. <laughs> but also it's tiny and mech has big feet just on better. But they could be moving really fast. And if it's really tiny and your mech's really big, it's going to be hard to target it. Especially when you can't really see them well from the cockpit.
<laughs> the wolves are airdropping in the winds comes by Canada. Well, I'm sure I've seen like like meme comics about that where it's actually showing these wolves as paratroopers though <laughs> against deer. But yeah, it's like it's a thing to like repopulate the like wildlife or something. Actually, no, don't jump. Just move. Good to go. If you actually move a bit and actually move out of the way, that would help. You betcha. Right, just just kill something. It's actually a limited population of moose. Yes, that was it. It was like a, that was the whole comic thing I saw as well, where it was just like, you know, it was a, it was actually like a paratroop and wolf, <laughs> and then a moose. <laughs> yeah. Actually, do you know what? I can fire with everything. That's not going to overheat and. Um, we'll not be firing on things for a bit. Hey, Mr. Weird. Welcome. How's it going? All right, cool. We just got to go on. I mean, we may as well destroy the gate because otherwise... Oh, what do we need to even destroy the gate? Just jump over the walls. Good. What about you? I've, I've been, I've, I've been feeling a bit unwell, but I'm actually not too bad right now, thankfully. Um, I don't want to destroy the wall. Just let's cool down a bit. Waiting on you, Commander. We are actually doing a jump. Let's jump up here and see inside. Excellent work, Commander. The prisoner. Oh, oh is oh oh. Okay. <laughs> I, I jump on the wall. I claim this prison. This is mine now. <laughs> oh, director of personnel, the action stations. God damn it. This is not a drill. <laughs> Looks like we've got more company. Sending, seeing heat signatures coming from uh, online in the prison, Mech Bear. The one must have either held a lance in revert. Uh, well, Course, it's, what? Sit tight, Commander. Is she coming in reserve? Reinforcements are on the way. Okay. Eliminate the prison garrison. Right. Well, a bit unfortunate you're up there now, but I guess we've just got to wait and see where they actually come from. Good to go. We're going to need everyone to start getting in here, but annoyingly. Roger that. Actually, where's Decker in this? Um, oh wait, I need to do something. You, you need rest. Um, God. They must be coming from like somewhere around here. Right, Deck, uh, you need to actually, actually sprint. Because you'll probably stay outside and fire in. Full speed, no target. And then, yeah, just, just sprint as well. Just let's be ready to run, jump over these walls. And that cools us down as well. Quite a lot. Quite a lot. Don't see anything yet. I hear ya. Right. You jump down. Oh. Oh, the, uh, yeah. It's just giving us the... The walls. Okay. Right. Mechs. Two mechs. Deck, uh, you... Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, it's a shame. Actually. Oh, I could do something like Vigilance. Next initiative is increased by one. Can I actually see, like, please remove this. I don't want to see that. I didn't mean to brace. I wanted to. See, I wanted to see the initiative order. It wasn't Letners, but whatever. Waiting for orders. All right. Um. Actually, do you know what? This mech will still move, so I might see it. So I don't want to actually move get deck yet because we might actually see what it is. Actually, on that note, 
Why don't we just reserve? Let them move. Then we can decide. Oh, it wasn't even that one. It was a different one. Okay, so these there's two medium X and a light mech. Got it. All right. I wonder if we can jump in such a way where we'd actually see these. Not quite. What about Behemoth? You've, you've got a bigger jump range, you know. You've got a smaller jump range. Ugh. Can you not actually jump straight in? You can. Right, let's get everyone actually in the walls. That makes sense to me. Now, even if I can't really do much, I'm going to use Vigilance probably on both of yours. Wait, enemy turn? It didn't say there was anything else. Wait, you jump in as well. Um... I don't know if you'll actually uncover anything. Yes, you will, but I don't know if you'll be able to attack it. Yeah, it's not not quite close enough. It's a Jenna. So that's the light mech. All right, do that and brace. And then what Decker can actually do is Decker can actually fire on one of them. From back here. Well, the Jenna specifically, but it's not got a great chance to hit. Right, okay. I need him to move probably closer. Take that terrible shot because why not? Affirmative. It, it's because it's both long range and the fact that, yeah, it's got five, six, even chevrons. Ugh. Would I not be better off doing a sensor lock on it then? Or look at one of these. Let's just do some damage. But, well, <laughs> it's, it's probably honestly going to be zero damage unless we're incredibly lucky. Yeah. <laughs> when the Jenna gets to come closer, it just takes some damage, potentially. Um, especially because it didn't actually give itself any more chevrons. Interesting. Um, Can I move anyone in such a way that it would actually be... Right, you here would actually give a sight on everything. But I want to watch this arm, so turn that way. Position confirmed. What have we got? Centurion and a trebuchet. Uh, trebuchet has LRM... Oh, two LRM-15s. And this LRM... Mm. You might as well fire on the Centurion, actually, because you get to hit everything. Jenna's annoying, but... Yeah. It's fortified, though. The trebuchet isn't. So I want to hit both of these, actually. Because I think you can only hit that with the laser. Yeah. So you use medium lasers. Every, all the medium lasers in the, uh, the <coughs> Centurion and largely everyone's trebuchet. Yeah. Get rid of the um, what's it as well. Ah, uh, the evasion. Oh, and we actually credit <laughs> an LR15. Um, really? Interesting. You brought your street. You brought your streak of what? Um. Oh, of course you both get to go because I I did the what's at the vigilance. Maybe we'll do the same again. Your arms are slightly damaged, annoyingly.
Oh, I'm just I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna see if I can't just potentially do a lot of damage to this trebuchet. Oh, all right, my more. Ooh. Do I do that? I just just it's hmm. That would take out a lot of stuff, wouldn't it? Broke your streak of not eating pizza. Ah, uh, well, you, you make that sound like it's a bad thing. Pizza's good. <laughs> yes, Commander. Okay. Uh, sixty-five percent chance to hit on these is probably the best I'm gonna get. this pick out this trebuchet let's just get it going you can do it i believe in you glitch actually i don't you're like one I'd you did it <laughs> oh there's another mech okay actually that's a good point what kind of pizza that's really important to know of course for the oregon people Oh. oh, we get hell. I'd like to see what this other mech is. Um. Probably putting ourselves in such a position would be in better defense. So I, I think, I think we're go. just going to have to like move up. No, I didn't mean to reserve. Oh, well, actually, this might help. That's a Jager mech. Getting shot in the back. Perfect. <laughs> Wait, what did that even... It, it shot a laser that didn't actually seem to do anything. Cool. Well, I mean, at least that helped us see this Jager mech, I guess. Um, It's pretty damaged in the back. It's a bit of a shame. Oh. Oh, no. So you had more damage to bits. Um, Actually, get you close and just fire everything into the Centurion. Oh, wait, you're damaged. You've got armor damage to your... Ooh, bad to your right arm. Bad to both your arms. Maybe so we don't have you in front. Commander. Or you, really. Well, we could face you the side. Waiting on you, Commander. It's just full. It's a shame the Yiga is actually. Of course, no, of course. Not ideal. 
That's really not ideal. Oh, you actually did a multi-target as well. well. That's fine, I guess. Hmm. I can't get in a position where we can get behind that Jager mech. Receiving you. Centurion is already... They've all already been... I think. Confirmed. Might as well just go for one target at once. Take one thing out and then take out the others. Any pizza I haven't had in month. Free cheese pizza now. Oh. I mean, a, only cheese pizza is not a real pizza. Doesn't count. She went some damage, but I don't really have much of a choice. Let's just actually take out this. Hopefully, take out this Centurion. Yeah. Okay. And then it's going to actually be um, Ally first. Anyway, oh no, of course, the Jenna. <laughs> Which actually isn't ideal at all. Oh, I, I sort of forgot the Jenner existed. Um, I probably shouldn't have done that. Hmm. Oh, oh. What's actually on your right arm? Nothing, actually. Of course. I'm sort of like slightly less concerned then. I, I'm still a bit concerned, but. Hmm. Actually, I still want to use you and sensor lock the Jaeger mech. Get rid of its chevrons. Or. What's up, boss? Because then you're going to get shot in the back with no evasion. Glorified cheese on top. It really is, actually. It, it, it is. It is. That's a good point. Those are great mech if I can get it. What, the Jaeger mech? Yeah. Yeah, but I'd have to. The thing is, they're getting shot in the back, so. Mm, do I sense a lock? It, it's going to be better than hitting it with missiles when it's, like, going to have such a low chance of hitting. And yeah, it's. You know, Kitora neck, so. I hear ya. Ooh. Chances to hit. Do a precision strike, but don't want to do that perhaps with you. I know you're damaged, but I face more that way. Technically, it's a male pizza because you put meal on top. It was meal on pizza. 
Ooh. Hello. You do. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, I guess. You didn't even hit the leg once. Okay, precision strike didn't actually hit the thing I wanted it to, of course. I read you, Commander. Moving out. It's egg. <laughs> I mean, technically, I guess. Egg, egg on pizza slap. <laughs> uh. Cool. No one, no one can actually hit the damn leg of this thing. That's awesome. Moving to position. And you don't have a precision strike, so just, just hit the damn thing. Let's. Oh come on! Oh, the Jäger, I think, has got nothing left. So actually the bigger danger is the Jenna, which of course, is, oh, of course it's gone straight for me Centurion, which is the most damaged thing. It makes sense. I, I've got to give it, it, it does make the most sense, of course. Good to go. I mean, though, chances are we're just going to turn around and punch this damn thing to death. Um... In fact, that's almost definitely what I'm going to do, All right? Just you, just you actually attack the Jäger mech. Then, what's a face? If this isn't, doesn't kill it, I'll attack the Jäger mech. And then we'll just punch the damn Janet to death. Scored a critical hit. If you can actually reach it, though. And think about that. Oh... Do you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Ready for orders. Punch this. Punch this thing to death, please. Putting my weight into it. <laughs> I mean, it would probably be better off actually Forward just stepping back and alpha striking it, but I'm I'm punching this damn thing to death. You know how dare you? Actually, do we? <laughs> oh, it's not. It's not. It's not got a great chance to hit. I would. And it's funny. I'll have, I'll have a strike with you because um, give us a better chance to hit. Oh. That's fine. Right, just, just punch it. I should have used jump. I I clearly should have actually. Death from above. I should have I should have done it. Did it miss? <laughs> oh right, the better. Ch oh yeah, the better. Alpha strike. You're right. You're right. I should have. Speaking of, Yeah, you're just going to probably go up and destroy that. Here you go. Shoot in the back. 
in the back, ironically, where it had the most armor. <laughs> the prison is ours. Thanks for the assist, Lady Arno. I'll have some I bring down for the victory celebration. I told you we could have celebrated before. It was guaranteed. CT, I know. The, the, the thing is, I shot its legs. I shot its legs loads. And everyone missed the legs. Like, completely missed the legs. So much. There will be no celebrating. Not after what I thought there. God. Various. The things the, dir the director has done to these people. I mean, uh, I need you to meet the prison hospital. I, mean, I, mean, uh, I need you to meet me at the prison hospital right now. What is it? Better, better that you see it for yourself. Come here. Prepare yourself. This isn't going to be easy. Mission oh, no. They're going to have been doing unpleasant things, I imagine. Okay. Oh, did we... Oh, no. I think something, something got destroyed. Just remember, follow the democracy lovers. Any rumors about flying bugs are false. Of course. Uh, might as well get all of the heavier mechs uh, and the Jenna. You know, might as well go for all of that. There's nothing really good weapon wise on the bar board. Nothing that we can just immediately buy. Better get the mechs. Two AC fives, large laser. I think we needed another large laser, actually. Well, LRM-15. Oh, I'll probably switch that out on me, um, on me Phoenix. Uh, is this a no Shadowhawk? I don't have a Phoenix Hawk. Oh, this isn't voiced. Um, <laughs> and it's gone by too fast for us to read a bit. Is this meant to have sound? I think this is meant to have sound. I've got no sound. Uh oh. And oh, they actually had Aizu here. Okay. They just kept me. Uh, this is supposed, probably supposed to have sound. I'm sorry, but for some reason it decided not to play a sound on the cutscene. So it is completely silent. It's silent for me as well, so don't worry. Um, interesting that he's still alive, though. I don't know how long that's going to... Okay. Weird. That was a bit weird. Um, so, yeah. You guys like Stardew? I like Stardew. I haven't played Stardew in a while. I know the recent, there's been a recent update for it though today. Um, well, that's interesting. Uh, but I am actually going to have to go on a break there. So I'll do that like while we're on like this this bit and we'll come back to this. But yeah, I run mid-roll ads, run three minutes of ads every hour and it stops pre-roll. So anyone joining and the ads I do run, I only run while I'm on break myself. So I will be back shortly.
Hello, and I'm back again. So, we'll continue with the story bit and then see where we get on with that. Uh, come here, I'm so sorry. I know you how much you must have meant to you as a friend and a mentor to us both. He was more than that. The old man was second father to me. And my uncle in, uh, condemned him to waste away on this rock, to die, wretched and broken, in agony. Um... <laughs> I knew Sir Roger longer than either of you. I'll avenge him, I promise you that. <laughs> Told him you'd make and stuff. Yeah. We'll, we'll do the, the, the nicest option. <laughs> and yet, so many have. There's no coming back from what I've witnessed here today. The other director is cruelly, is unimaginable. What they've done here, here is monstrous. It's inhumane. Our intel was wrong, Alexander. The icebox isn't a prison. It's a meat grinder. Gods, my own family is behind this. <laughs> what do you call two witches sharing a flat? What do you call two witches sharing a flat? Oh, and I saw it for the uh, 1.6 update for surgery. It's as a new animal farm. I mean, you could have made any of them animal. What what specifically makes it more of an animal farm? I mean, technically, when I was, I was playing, it was always animal farm because I, I'd always uh, install the the uh, furry mods. So everyone everyone was a furry. Funny. <laughs> oh, Which is sharing a fat as broom mates, of course. <laughs> oh, terrible. And what's left of mine has chosen to look the other way. It isn't easy to wrap your head around, but try to remain focused. We've just liberated the director's hostages. With, with a single blow, you've shattered your uncle's hold on the founding houses. Prisoners you've set free are already calling you the, the Sword of Restoration. We need to spread this message all the way to the Commodore. To you galvanize your supporters and weaken Espinan's, uh, Espinosa's popularity there. I have any say supporters, I like the sound of that. That's when I uh, stole the throne at gunpoint. How much popularity could he have? I mean, both of these are good options. But yeah, galvanize the supporters. 1.6 animal fun so it's with blue grass, a coop, and two chickens. Okay. Blue grass? Oh, wait, what? What difference is blue grass? I've probably not, I've, I've not played Stardew for a while. I don't know, I, like, there's probably things that has been added that I'm not, I'm not aware of. It won't be an easy process. For the last three years, those who love House Arno, Arno have been keep, uh, keeping their heads down. We won't break through uh, them. We won't break them of that overnight. In truth, an appreciable percentage of Commodore's population supports Director Espinosa. In centralizing power, he improved the quality of life on the throne and world considerably. And people will forgive a great deal of security, uh, forgive a great deal for security and comfort. I mean, that is true. Uh, animals like it more than normal grass. It's new. Ah, right. Okay, fair. It's just new this patch, I guess. Do you only get it on the new map or something? Or is it just something you can get? I'm assuming it's something you can't just get. Without a victory on Vel Weldry, we've all seen what happened to those who would not be brought or uh, could, would not be bought or indoctrinated. Those who refused to kneel to before a tyrant. We know what became of the people who were made to disappear. And soon, uh, soon enough, the entire reach will know it too. The moment is on our side, Camille. We need to take advantage of it. You can't get it elsewhere. Okay, so it is just a new map thing. That's fair enough. You're right. This isn't the time for hand uh, ringing. But, Alexander, you didn't see what I saw out there. On the other end of the battlefield, the work crews, all hunched and broken. The, grave, uh, the graveyards, great fields of unmarked burial ground uh, plots that stretched as far as the eye could see. Every time I blink, I see it. Misery. There's a louder fester here. 
Um, <laughs> might as well do the background one. I, I like doing the background ones because that's like obviously the unique choice. Uh, I was one bad Solaris fight away from bankruptcy before Master reached out to me. I have easily wound up in a place like this. Yes, but that was the inner sphere. Before my old uncle's coup, the Reach didn't have places like this. This prison is going to stay with these people for the rest of their lives. I'd do anything to spare them of that hurt, but can't. Would have advised for an old veteran, Lady Arnold. Focus on something you can do. Give us an order. Tell us to blow something up. Shit, use your imagination. The key is, you do something and you move on. Thank you, Chief, uh, Chief, uh, Chief Vert... What is it? Vertinen. It must be Vertinen. You have a good crew, Cougar. I have an assignment for you and a reward for your service. It's a long face. The Argo appears on your base screens. She's in rough shape, but she's supposed to be space worthy. For decades, the wreck of that, uh, the, the wreck site of the Argo was my five. My, blah, 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 blah. Speak lonely. The Argo was one of my father's most closely held secrets. When I sent you to retrieve her, I meant for her to serve as a symbolic purpose, a sign of rebirth, rebirth and renewal. Emblazoned with the RNO common uh, comment for all to see. I was naive. This is time for action, not symbols. And so, Cougar, I've decided that she will be yours to command. New ship. <laughs> <laughs> the Argo will serve as your new home. She will fly your mercenary banner. Lord Madeira will join you and act as your, uh, my, liaison, uh, my liaison. And in return, you will grow stronger, sharper, more flexible will hone your company to a razor's edge. One that I will hold to the director's throat. In that case, congratulations, you've got yourself a navy. A navy, yeah. We're just a small mercenary group. I'm <laughs> uh... <laughs> I've got a new ship. He's hoping she doesn't fall apart on me. Wow. <laughs> what an ungrateful bastard that could be. <laughs> Oh, God. If that's settled, then please, Chimera. Go back to the triage tent and, and get your wounds looked at. Conditions out here are beyond unsanitary. What, on the ship? How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> and, you <laughs> and you'll be in no use of anyone if you're dying with some sort of exotic infection. Again, you're on my ship. How dare you? <laughs> Our people can tend to the wounded. We need uh, we need you strong for the fight ahead. I will, Alexander, but not just yet. Send below people at the car, uh, in the courtyard. There's something I need to say. Yeah, hopefully we we'll actually get sounds this time. Oh, we've got no sound again. Why? I might I might restart the game because this is actually a little bit annoying that um it's not playing any sounds on the cutscenes. It didn't before, and I thought it was just going to be a one-off thing. Um, But yeah, now it's just completely silent again. Oh, that is a bit annoying, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll restart the game. I'll, I'll restart the game, and hopefully this sorts itself out, but yeah. Ugh. Like, I don't even know what to do. Do I just skip it? Because I... I I don't, I, I kind of like, I don't know how long the cutscene's going to be, and it's like, uh, makes us a bit sad. You get to do the voices. It's too quick. It's too quick. The, uh, uh the, the, um, the captions. Um, right. I'm, I'm actually, I'm going to have to skip it because that's actually, that, that's no good. That's no good. Our ship will travel. Cool. Oh, and of course, the engineer of the actual, the, the, the one that is doing the actual repairs. Hello again. Hello again, my mercenary friends. Before you officially take possession of the Argo, I want to introduce myself in person. Never really got a chance to meet properly on Alexis. So, uh, hi. I'm Dr. Farad Murad. Or just Farah, if you prefer. 
Nice to meet you all face to face. Yeah, Doc, you too. I'm going to call you Doc, by the way. You'll probably go ahead and get used to it. <laughs> it was impressive work you did, getting the Argo firing. Between you and me, I had my doubts. I mean, I think, <laughs> I think everyone did. Honestly, I did too. You see, should have seen the Argo's interior look like after a couple of hundred years of pirate occupation. Actually, I take that back. If you'd seen what I saw, you would never want to set foot inside. Take it from me. Ship had been uh, dissolved in, from board stern. Every meter of it has been uh, hosted down with industrial grade <laughs> disinfectant. <laughs> the ship is clean enough to eat off, I swear. <laughs> uh, uh. Clean is good space where these better. Are you sure that, yeah? You know what? That's just this, like, oh, I'm being sad because, you know. And do the middle option. That's the, like, sort of nice one. I'm pleased to hear it. I'm glad we're getting off the right foot. It isn't every day you get to introduce yourself to new crew, uh, crewmates to the ship you just rebuilt. <laughs> new crewmates, you know, something you don't. Like, clearly she's coming with us. Um. <laughs> yeah, like, and we're finally getting a shipboard engine here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, that's good because I don't have a clue on anything on this boat work. Frankly, I'm amazed Doc Murad managed to get it flying at all. <laughs> I'm still a little amazed myself. Only a little because I'm very good at what I do. But I was kind of twitch and go for a while. I say that oh. strength built on fear is brittle. That goes hard. Also, hello, Jonay. Okay. Once again, I have escaped my cage with the help of Mary. Oh no. Can you please paint me like one of your <laughs> mechs soon, provided it is non rusting paint? Either that, or you should make them look like us. Blue, gray, extra thick. What? Also, I had no idea you could drive mechs so well. Could you drive me? I doubt it. You built me too small to pilot. And I would be too jealous of a Gundam sized Kugaba 2.0. <laughs> Goodbye, smiley face. Uh, I mean, technically I could ride on Cougar Bot and it be sort of, sort of work. Um, I don't think I could possibly paint them as beautifully as these mechs though, unfortunately. <laughs> so appropriate. Oh, and Darius, I'm sorry about all the shouting back on Elixir. Since I'm getting shot at by Parrot, puts me on edge. No hard feelings. <laughs> Um, not all. Keep this beast fine and could yell at me as what you want. Hell, I'm used to it. What the family? You two, Lord uh, Marida. I never imagined we'd be working together, but I'm glad to have the opportunity. As am I, Mr. Luria. Over the years of our exile, Lady Orono told me a great deal about you and your company. All of it good. Even before the events of the coup, you knew about Markram's marauders. Your assistance in her father's Fagia of Boy Aldia 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 campaign did not go unnoticed. It was a job, a job, Lord Meredia. We only did what High Lord Tamaiti paid us to do. Still, it feels good to be appreciated. And I don't know that someone out here still remembers Commander Markham's name. Uh. <laughs> Very hard. We went, no, we're not going to read like total dicks. Only like a little bit. Thank you, Commander Rover. Oh, yeah, I forgot to call it. <laughs> it was Johnny Rover, wasn't it? And it was the um, call name Cougar. Speaking of which, you'll have time, some time to break your new ship in before Lady Orono is ready to move on to Panzer. She needs to, uh, to consolidate our forces on Wildery and replace our losses with fresh volunteers. You remember her orders. You would shorten your company and grow strong. And now what you've uh, and now that you have a mobile command center worthy of the title, I suggest you use it. Okay. You got a fresh batch of contracts to look over, Johnny. The whole Rimwood uh, periphery is our oyster now. We won't be limited by debts or travel restrictions. Exciting times, I've got to say. I mean, we've been cooped up in one that one little patch of the frontier for too long. Put that freedom, good use. 
Yeah. How are you, young? You excited? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, boss. I'm practically giddy. So why the hell are we still hanging around here talking? There's an absolutely enormous mech there right over there. It's got my name written all over it. <laughs> of course, that's the only thing that's important is the mech there. Damn right it does, Yang. You hear them. Take your attention to everyone. We're free agents till Lady RNO comes calling for us. And there's money to be made. Yeah, I like money. <laughs> the Argo is not in good shape, Commander. But with time, money, and some uh, chief's very uns technical resources, we can't address most major problems. Even make this one nice, uh, this place nice again. I'll be in engineering if you want no more. So I guess we'll need to like upgrade the thing as well. Lady Arno said she wanted us to get stronger. But these mech facilities, we finally have the resources to do that. Bring me scrap mechs from missions and shops, and I'll rebu rebu uh, rebuild them into fighting machines. And remember, boss, when it comes to back, bigger is usually better. Look at that, we got a big ship. Right, I'm going to actually restart the game. I'm going to remember to restart the game because of the whole cutscene thing that's, that's happening right now, because that's actually a bit more annoying. Let's save and quit. And then we're going to see a, like, a beautiful black screen at the minute. Hello, it's just me. <laughs> um, Let's see if we can actually get this hopefully okay again. That's like so annoying. I might like leave the opening cutscene on just to make sure that we've actually got sound. Um, Just for a bit, just until I'm like confirmed there's actually sound on it. Because yeah, that is like ever so slightly annoying. We shall see. Okay, well, I, I hear sound already, so yeah. That's, that's, that's good. That's, a, that's a good start. Okay, cool. I think, I think we should be okay. I hope so. Right. Continue. Cool. I like the fact that it's like mostly open to space. That's that's awesome. Right. Um Engineering. Okay, ship upgrades. I guess that's why we speak to them as well. Okay. Oh, and then obviously it would be Um More expensive to run, I guess, after a bit. So what would we get? Right, okay, so structural jury rigging is already okay, so that's just the thing. First of the main drive should have severed the spine of the ship when it pulled away from the crash site. Um the whole thing is being held together by the external hull plating. Oh that's that's nice to hear. I'm I'm pleased to actually see that. <laughs> oh good. That's awesome. Um, yeah. Like, I don't know what exactly, um, would need to upgrade the different things for. Oh, more mech warriors. Right, okay. Oh. Okay, Elcon. Well, thanks so much for the raid and welcome along. How's it going? On raid. <laughs> How's it going? What is your plan? Yeah, we're here just playing. Uh, some battle tech. It's the first time I've actually played through the game like at all, and I'm completely unfamiliar with like most things battle tech like at all. The only t thing I've got knowledge of battle tech with is Mech Warrior Five. So, 
uh, yeah, this is an interesting thing to, to actually do. I do enjoy like a lot of the um, turn-based strategy stuff. I don't play so much on stream though. Like the first time I actually played a turn-based strategy, normally I would play uh, ARPGs. So um, you you see a lot of Grim Dawn here, but yeah. You will have fun. What is it? Hopefully, <laughs> I'm having fun so far, definitely. We've just got the Argo here. So I'm looking through some of the upgrade systems. Oh, right. Okay. So this would, I'd get more tech points for repairs. No, in training module, actually just give us um, passive experience, I guess. And regulations, obviously, morale. Okay, that makes sense. Learn from your mistakes. Uh, for me, you know, if I play MechWarrior 5, should have the basic weapons and such. Yes, I, I feel like um, some of the knowledge I've, I gained in MechWarrior 5 is definitely, definitely carrying over to here. Uh, like you say, especially the weapons and um, like uh, fitting out mechs as well, actually. I think it gives you an idea of like how, how I'd be doing that. Oh god, all of these screens have changed as well. That's kind of cool. Yes, you you love the mech bay, I know. Actually, our mech warriors probably do need some upgrades. Oh, we can't quite get precision shot yet. What is it called? Breaching shot, sorry. Oh yeah, I was going to do that. I wonder if that would apply for sensor lock as well. Mech warrior training complete. I'm not sure. I uh, yeah, I'm I'm playing on mod. I mean, I'm only playing on modded though as well because it's the first playthrough I've ever done of BattleTech. It, I did the same thing with Mech Warrior as well. So whenever I might return to that, that would be a modded run. Definitely, especially after because the obviously they just released recently the Solaris um, DLC, which I'm actually quite interested in. Honestly, it looks cool. What can I do for you? Standing by. Did I possibly want to get the coolant? The the problem is I don't really have any really hot mechs, so I don't know if I'd, I'd really need that yet. I did need to repair stuff though. Let's actually do that before I continue on. It was just the Centurion, really? Okay, that's fine then. Um. Quite a step up from the Leopard, isn't it? Okay. Also, I didn't actually say hello. Is there was it Walla Velo Mala? Is that is that right? <laughs> I'm terrible. I'm terrible at pronouncing like almost anything, so I do apologize if I got it wrong. Um, should be able to look at. Uh oh. Ah, uh, what's that for? <laughs> Can barely pronounce your yours. <laughs> Mythical Mary. Is that incorrect? <laughs> No, I didn't. I didn't want to speak to you some night. I just wanted to go to the. Uh, no, 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 no. I'll no. get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Uh, I would just want to have a look at the star map uh, because what we've got much more open to us. Apparently. Um. Technically, yes, but obviously. <laughs> But yeah, not not really. Um We'll probably take a travel contract out. Cause I think we're in such a place where 
Oh no, actually, oh yeah, I wanted to check. For some mechs as well. Oh, stalker. Um, I've already got part of what like um maraud I, i've heard maraud is like horrifically overpowered in vanilla so um, <laughs> i sort of want one <laughs> um i've already got a part of a 3r but we'll see if we, see if we actually get one of them or not annoyingly annoyingly looking back on uh me vods i did notice that one of the stores i've been to did actually have a marauder 3r part on it um i'm sort of annoyed that that was there oh wait yes actually there was one other thing i wanted to do with the mech um it was the shadow hawk can i can i fit the lrm 15 on there oh seven tons no i can't i mean i want to <laughs> oh Oh, uh, we already took loads of stuff out of this. Uh, I mean, technically. Technically, if I had two LRM 15s, we could take out the LRM 5 and just get the same sort of thing as doing that. Would that even help? No, because no, that no, that wouldn't make any sense. No, no, we're not going to do any changes to that. Yeah, I wanted to probably just move on. I think. Are these all here? These will all be here. Oh, do we just do some missions here then? Oh no, how divers. About this for the playing field to establish network connection. Oh. I'm getting the arm as long as you keep it long way. I mean, that's pretty much what it's done this whole time, honestly. It's it's been absolutely fine for that. You had four super samples. Oh yeah, that sucks. Sometimes you get like that back later on though as well. Sometimes that happens. Your steam connection's down. So it you do get um the, there is a lot of the times there's the um steam maintenance on on Tuesdays. It's it's a bit early for that though. But yeah, that's that's usually a thing that's like annoying for Tuesday. <laughs> oh. Um. <laughs> Mid-level restoration officials have decided personally patrol boundary dangerous region of the planet. Uh, it's sure the people willing with it. So this is like a um I think, oh no, that's against the planet uh, pirate. I don't really want to do that. I mean there's a much point in doing these because we're not really getting rep. They're already obviously max rep. And I don't want to go against the pirates. <laughs> Should we just move somewhere? Let's just move somewhere. We've got to wait for a repair of the uh, mech anyway. Might as well. What's the... What's the difference between... What What's the difference between the circular bits and the other ones? Hmm. 
Oh. Oh, wait. No. No. I visited the ones highlighted. Okay. That makes sense. Got it. Pass through when traveling. Yes. So I've been to like all of them. Let's stop moving around a bit then. Have a look. Might as well. Calculating course now, Commander. Go to like actually populated places. And um see if we can't uh Do I want another tip? I always want more tips. I wrapped up that job you asked for, Commander. Use the skull filter. Right. You have a tip as well, Mary. So I don't end up traveling to planets that have missions. Oh, I want to travel to planets that have missions. <laughs> what I'm doing, is it not? If I'm traveling, I always pause each jump. Looks like we've arrived, Commander. If I have a gas less ghastly looking maximum my parallel to it aim better. He's going to be bleeding all the time. Me pilots can't see their own mechs are in them. Anything good here? Oh, we've already got a part of a quick draw. Hmm. Oh, you mean just like from the jump point so you don't have to travel all the way to the planet. I get it. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that makes perfect sense. Actually. Ooh. Speaking of like missile boat things, I'd, I'd totally go with an archer as well. But <laughs> Cyclops. I've got a Cyclops part, but not this model. That's true. That's true. I mean, chances are we're just going to probably take some missions here anyway. What weapons are here? Oh, I didn't actually check the weapons. You're off, Con? Oh, well, thanks, thanks again for the raid. And, uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's nice of you. And, yeah, I, I, I'm definitely having fun with this. Still the store coot. Wait, what? No, I know I, I know it's in the store, Tara. I just need to check again. I just thought I'd check out some of the contracts. This is a two-school planet. I know it's a two-school planet. I want to go against the pirates. Against the planet group, it's, that's fine. Biological slam at all. Uh, is this like a collection one or something? This is. I thought there was a way. Oh yeah, recovery. Oh, it does. It does say there. Yes. I can defend. Oh, is that a city map? Well, I haven't done a city map yet. Against Cavalian Federation, though. No. Yeah. Oh no, it's a tundra map. I'd like to see one of the city maps though. 2.5 skulls? I think we'll be okay. We've been doing okay so far at most of the... Uh, the Let's actually quickly have a look at the store though, yeah. That's a good point for the uh, the weapons. An extended range lasers. Large laser. Hmm. Oh, medium pulse. Only one.
Ghost ammo, but no actual ghost gun. Was a great, really good, quite rare. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, these are just ammos. I'll be ex ammos. I'll probably get that pulse. I've got I've got money. I've got some money to spare. Worth picking with a little ammo, do you reckon? Oh, Sam is a good shout. I mean, it's unlimited. <laughs> I'll buy a couple. New equipment available. Maybe some of the LB three, do you reckon? New equipment available. I'll probably get a couple of these. Just to, just to have them. I don't know when I might actually get the LB New LBXs, available. but and yeah, let's try this one then. Um, do we want more salvage? I'm gonna I'm gonna keep like this way because I still want obviously the money. Um, but I, I, I like the chance of better salvage. Everything was repaired, I think. I hope it was only the um, what's it, the Centurion that took damage. Well, it wasn't though. It seems like any light armor damage doesn't really count. Oh, any armor damage doesn't really count. It's only when it starts taking structure damage that. You seem to actually need to repair. Which always seems like a little bit weird. Armor damage never counts. Yeah. Only structure. Get them get the evac, okay. And we've got something else. Alright. Keep your eyes open and watch your sensors. Oh, get the sample cases and then secure the operatives like as a secondary. That's fine. Let's see how quickly we actually get contact. Confirm. I think it's true also in Mech Warrior 5. No, I'm pretty sure if you take armor damage, you've got to repair the armor. I'm pretty sure. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Oh, there we go. Copy that. What we've got? Three mech. Assault Max. <laughs> I think they're all, yeah, they're all initiative three. They're all medium max. Oh, do they technically not, still you, not know where here, I guess. Oh, we could be in a position where... We could fire a lot of whatever this is, and then they'd need a full turn to actually probably get into... A, well, no, no, they'd be able to get around here. Maybe it's not this kind of... Depends on what they are. But if we move over here... Mm, no, I don't think we're ever going to be in much of a position where they'd do much. And plus, they'll probably move this one next. Tree cover, though. Yes, I know. Or I could reserve and wait for them to go. And then choose what to do after they've come up. Because if anything, it's only this one that will probably be getting... No. No. Uh. No, I think we, we just like sort of... Yeah, go. Good to go. Ready for orders. Who do I want to use though? Yeah, no, I think I do want to use glitch on this or yeah, because it's mostly going to be the medium lasers anywhere, and I could get in a position where where I'm actually in good range of that. So 
Yeah, let's do that. Oh, wait, that was a sprint. I thought it was a jump. Uh... Oh, well. <laughs> Mistakes were made. jump so annoying good to go mm. standing by the lance is also yeah Actually, you can already see the mech over here. Let's see That's so like annoying, that. though. That's so annoying that I'd, I'd accidentally... I essentially had zero attack on me. Um, blackjack, but put it in like a horrible position. Can you build melee mechs? So, like, you can melee with any mech. I don't think you can, like, build them in the same sort of way you can in Mech Warrior because I don't know if there's, like, melee weapons. I don't think so. I haven't seen any. What's up, boss? And Terror will know. Melee arms. Not swords and such. That's such a shame. I love the swords and stuff. The swords and axes and everything. We're not in a good place here. I can't believe how much I me mean, blackjack's just getting absolutely hammered. But I mean it's support with makes sense. And you have the first one, no sequel. Oh yeah. So it's just just how it goes. This is a hard mission already. I've I've not done I've not made a great start really. Come on. Blackjack's definitely going to have to move back. Oh, they've got a hunchback as well. Oh, it's a 4G as well. Oh, no. Oh, that's horrible. That got through my armor, Commander. I'll take two of it. It's like, oh, it's caustic. Oh, what? No. Oh, this is disgusting, actually. Yeah, that's going to knock you over, isn't it? Not quite. Right, I should have probably went for... Oh my god, are you for real? Why do they have LRMs on all of the mechs on the other side? Ah! Uh. Uh, dang it, that hurt! Oh, come on! Armor breach, internal damage. That's just. Wow. Well, that's. This is a start. Hmm. Waiting for orders. <laughs> I 
this gum. I mean, what's when you withdraw? Is it all oh, right? Nah. Hmm. Uh, it's so annoying that they've all got... I mean, I bet, yeah, here, none of these actually... Oh, no, they do. That one's got LRM. So only the Centurion here has LRMs. All of them here have LRMs. So as long as they can see us, they're just going to pepper us with them, like, every single turn. We are not in a good place. Um, unless I break line of sight, that's not really going to be possible right now. The mechs in front. Well, yeah, yeah, but by that time, these, some of these will probably have made it over because they're going to be moving over now, right now. Um... How are you? See, we're easily going to kill this Shadowhawk first. But then we've got everything else to deal with. No, because they're going to... Oh, they're going to get, like, all cold shots on this Blackjack. They're going to absolutely destroy it. This actually might be, um, oh, restart mission. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think so on that. I think that was not a good start. I think I could do better than that. I think it's a bit of a shame now I know like all the LRMs are up here because I'm like now I'm like how we go this way first. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think just going so I was between them was a mistake. I think even just going over here and up oh they'd still be able to hit us with LRMs, but it'd be much longer range. I'm curious of like what sort of difference that would make because this is probably more the thing I'd just do from Dave. I'm going to see if this works or not. This idea works or not. You betcha. Move order received. Because that sort of makes a bit more sense, doesn't it? Uh huh. Aye, aye. Copy that. I read you, Commander. Moving out. No, oh, and we do actually get the contact there. On my way. Roger. Let's see then. Wait, did they get? Does it randomize what they get? Oh. Good to go. Oh wait, what? Moving 
No. Yes. They didn't have a Jenna before. Ah. So actually, it wouldn't have mattered to known that they had all LRMs at the other side. That's sort of interesting. This should be good. good start, though. Good start. <laughs> good start. That would be a myth. You play Iron Man, but yeah, he says difference. Yeah. Okay. Good to go. Oh, you can't actually move any closer <laughs> by jumping, and you're far back. Of course, you can move a little bit closer. Doesn't give you great chances, but we sort of need to do that. My defense on a jump, yeah. Th this is a better angle to attack from, definitely. Um, another thing is the the other mechs on the other side would be take much longer to get to us. Like, considering we were here before, we're like over here now. I think that's going to be in a much better place. But I do actually need to go on a break there. So I run mid roll ads. I run three minutes of ads every hour, and uh, I do that so no one has to see pre rolls when they join. I only run the ads while I'm actually on break myself, so you don't miss anything during that time. I'll be back shortly.
Hello. And I'm back again with hopefully the, the better attempt at this mission. So, hmm. I know this one had LRMs, whatever it was. I've only seen the Jenna so far. Um. What's up, Fox? I still need to move you, Behemoth. And Decker. Receive Maybe it's we. Oh. Oh, these two have moved, I think. Yeah, it's just this one. From the looks of it, and then. You know, it's still seeing this. Oh, no, it's. Oh, yeah, it's showing. Wait. Oh, right, I get it, I get it. Maybe we'll find out what this one is. But then. No, what's the point? It'll just show itself anyway. Let's just attack the Jenna. Maybe he's just moved to get an extra hit, but that's actually. No. Oh. I don't know if I can move in such a way where it gives us a as good a chance to hit there, and that gives us an extra. Because that, that doesn't really matter, I don't think. What's the attack? The annoying thing here is just the fact that it's guarded before. We do like no damage. Mm. I forgot. I forgot again to move Decker into another mech. Because I didn't want him in the LRM or was it? So that's uh On my way. Yeah. We can we can fire then move. So I mean that is obviously the option there. We'll get to see what this is. It's blackjack. With two AC twos? Uh, funny enough, that Blackjack will actually take more damage than this Jenna. Just because. Just because it doesn't have his, his full guard. But can I get in a position where I'm... Uh, no, I think I want to be here. I, I, I probably want to start on this, this Blackjack. Here we go. Hello, Elbert. How's the coup? I'm, too, I'm, I'm not too bad. Not too bad. I've been better, but I'm not too bad. How are you doing? Firing all weapons. I'm going to have all of the ones that are moving going to be moving over here. And, yeah, they would have just moved up then. Cool. Light damage, Commander. Oh, do they have another light mech then on the other side? They must do. Waiting on you, Interesting. Commander. Um. Well, I sort of want to get more to move in you move in a bit more cover perhaps you get a different chance to hit on the blackjack but if i jump you as well there's no way i could hit you hit it from the back but i could hit it from the side and then sort of see what this other mech is Except, oh, and I could. Actually, was this a mistake for the... Oh, it is going to overheat. Oh, if I fight with everything. I could not fight with the lasers, I suppose. It still puts our heat up, though. Even just the... Hmm...
Oh, and what was the other thing? I didn't actually look. The Phoenix Hawk. Okay. And I don't know what this is yet. You know what? Mm. I thought we were on a cold planet. Uh, it's, it's only by 15%, right? Okay. So, it sucks, but... They really hate me, Blackjack. Commander? Like, so much. Hmm. I, uh, hmm. I don't want to push too far up, especially with the... Yeah, but I do want to be in more cover, and that would give us such better chances to hit. Waiting you don't have bulwark, do you? You don't. You don't. Commander. Ready for orders. I sort of want the ones with Bulwark to be, like, sort of up front. In cover. Engaging jump jet. I mean, it's doing this, so the, the next action they're going to do is probably just hit the Blackjack, because, I mean, that makes sort of the most sense, doesn't it? Oh, wait, it's... Mm. I should be fitting things out of cover as well. Centurion's not in cover. Ah. Sort of makes a bit more sense to actually do more damage. Oh, I should have moved glitch this one. Uh currently not in cover. Armor breach. Internal damage. Good to go. The thing I'm like trying to take advantage of that they're doing over here. Being out of cover. Wow, I wish. That's actually not a bad chance to hit. To do it. I mean it, it's a bit silly to actually do a jump there, but then if I just move, I only get at least it gives us two chevrons. The moving. Such a silly thing. It gives it's a bit it, it's it's not it doesn't even matter for the heat. At least it puts us in cover. With evasion. And I can hit this centurion. I should have moved oh the arm to be better facing. It doesn't it's fine. It's fine. Oh, 
Go for a headshot, but no. The rush. Is it worth doing precision strike? Mm. That did give like 90% on everything. And to go for a headshot. Ooh. Not gonna work, is it? Did damage. Oh, and they do, of course, have LRMs from the other side. But even even though they do, we're in a a much better place. They're shooting from a much greater distance against uh, something that's bulwarked and the thing. So yeah. Oh, and we might actually see one of the other mechs. It's not quite getting close enough. But that's another light mech. I guess. More LRMs. Oh, honestly. Hey, Cube. Welcome. How's it going? I have the Autobots rolled out. Uh, we, we actually, um, we're actually having a bit of a difficult time here. Waiting for orders. Things aren't quite going so well as they could. Oh. oh, it's actually not a bird this time. Wow. Neck. Uh oh, big bird. <laughs> Funny enough, we already have had birds. At least one from the giant flush. So, not only you, I guess, but still surprising, surprising number of um, birds, like always. All right. Since we've already started on the Centurion, they're probably going to do this one next. But I feel like we sort of need to move on this one a bit. Commander. Oh, oh, I see. I see Cougar this time. I guess it's a cold planet. <laughs> and a hydration check. So I don't like where everything is right now. You're on the cusp of overheating again. Good to go. Although you're at the point where you could fire everything. Orders. Good to go. Ah. I mean, even if I was to turn you. It's it's not like you're it's not like your right arm's really doing any better and mm. waiting for orders. Uh I, I can't even get to a point where I could like jump behind right things, orders. which would have been awesome. You are starting to get unsteady, and if I fire a bunch of LRMs at you, that might actually help. On it. Might make it hard for you to move.
Yeah, they're constantly trying to fight against the Blackjack, though. I don't really think they did so much damage. Okay, um... Is it worth moving you right up? And just firing. The thing is, if I move up... Um... It gives us back the Chevron. And they've got less to move now. And the SRMs will help knock this down, perhaps. I know I'm almost ignoring the fact that the Jenner exists, but I, I sort of want to see if... Oh, come on. The Chiron. With everything. Please knock this down. Oh. Yeah. That's got two injuries on the pilot. Sometimes you've got like bad. You 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 are the like one of the few without. Um, I think you're going to be better for your vision. Yes. There's no jump sprint or charge. Gains entrenched dam uh, stability damage reduction. Then how did you like? Oh, I think you jumped. Yeah, um, because I was like, oh, who that didn't give stability? Like it got knocked down last time. I mean, this would be a cold shot, wouldn't it? Oh. Might at least just take out this um centurion. We're in a, a weird spot. Aye, aye. <laughs> sure. Okay. Firing a full power. Enemy down. Well, that's a bit annoying. I didn't want to just take out its leg, but that just clearly wasn't happening. Yeah, this this Jenna still exists. It's sort of oh well, that was gonna happen. We attacks were gonna happen. It, they, they, they were gonna have to. Um, there is another light mech as well. There are, of course, they're coming up behind, but we're also getting to a point where we can actually run behind them and turn around right now. Um, especially with jumps. Um. But thanks, thanks for letting us see the water. That was very nice. Okay. Wait. Yeah, we could sort of 
not really move around that well. Hmm. Is your attacks are gonna What's up, boss? do a lot of uh, um... Commander? These two at the minute are in the worst position. You've already taken some damage on your arm back armor. You haven't but will. So I think I probably move you first. It does put us in a position where we'd be hitting this blackjack in the back. So I think we sort of take that. I know this is probably going to make us overheat, but. Although I could take off the lasers, it's still. Be, the lasers would still be overheating. Unless we took off an SR6. It's SR, SRM. I think. Hmm. And that's just because we need to do the jump. This is taking no structural damage. I think we just take the overheat. Um, and start doing damage on the blackjack. This blackjack's probably going to move. So we'll not quite get a, as good chance. Oh, perhaps not. Phoenix is going to come up melee. Yeah. And missed. Oh. Oh. oh but light laser as well. Ugh. But do you know what? I'll, I'll accept that. Because now you get a move. In the same sort of position. And do a bunch of attacks on the... On the blackjack as well from the back. Shame I'm not getting a good shot with the um No, there's no I don't is there a point in doing the precision strike? Yes, because that gives us a much better chance to hit. It's not moving the blackjack yet. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. And what? Sensor lock on me. Centurion. Hmm. Then what have we got? Behemoth. It's just here. You're also going to overheat quite badly. We need to be ready for the fact that we've got more things coming from that way. Yeah, just just reverse. That, actually, the same time that's smart to reverse as well. Inflicted some heavy damage. Oh, we're just things. Things are getting spicy now, though. Things are getting spicy now. We've got to take out. Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot you existed, Decker. Actually, I'm not gonna lie. Um, maybe you don't have a good chance to hit on this. I do if I move back a bit. And I can just keep firing. We're extra lucky. Roger. <laughs> that would happen. <laughs> Target neutralized. I wondered where the ammo was. So yeah, there we go. Neutralized for not being fabulous it's enough. I know. There's just no one else is, is uh, no one else can paint the mechs quite so well. So 
Of course, of course, we, we, things are going to go better. I'm tired of being peppered by uh, long range missiles, though. Jen is overheating. That's awesome. Um, I'm also overheating, though. Good to go. I mean, technically, that left these in such a position where I had to hit them more from the back. But I've also got not good good shots on these. Commander, black shot. You can. Mm. Yes. You're going to be able to do the least, actually. Reduce the chevrons as melee, maybe. I can't really get up to melee these, but what I could do is I, I can move. I can move me Centurion up a bit. And because it's got bulwark, I could actually guard because he's not going to be able to do much with his heat. At least that would give us a evade back. And that's the only place I can go for an evade. A bit annoying. Jump for more. I could have jumped for more, but I, I want to just. I just want to clear that um, the heath. I want to. I want to massively go down. Just so then he can just do a few attacks in a row. Because otherwise, all I'm doing is I'm just delaying the annoyance. Right, Phoenix Hawk. I mean, technically, I could. Get up behind it and shoot in the back as well. Um, I'd already be hitting it in the back with this, but again, the range is not on my side for the LRMs. You could jump behind it as well. Oh. With the blackjack. I need to melee with it. Ah, that's a good point. I could have melee with Vindicator, couldn't I? From that side. The, I mean, the Vindicator doesn't heat up so much, but yeah, if I, I melee this, then I can jump me Blackjack to behind. Although the the rear attack doesn't isn't affected by um, evasion, is it? Or is it? I don't know, you need to cool off anyway, so. Okay, kick it. <laughs> oh good, they didn't actually have it. I was thinking, oh god, does this also have a stupid um, LRM? All of these have had LRM so far, it's so annoying. Face that way. Annoyingly, that's not going to be good for your AC, um, AC5, but All weapons are go. you still hit it, so hey, can't complain so hard. Critical hit, Commander. And that's the stability down. I might even be able to knock this thing down. Oh, an assassin. Yeah, you hit me, Centurion, the only one that's actually guarding. <laughs> Waiting for orders. 40% chance to hit. Can I make that better? 65 if I move here. Okay. Move order received. Oh, so close. I like this doing like a little stagger. <laughs> this Jenna is probably going to come up and kick something, actually. No, it's just going to, it's just going to keep overheating. Damn it. I'm 
That's not great, though. Oh. The first time actually seeing a mech shut down from heat. Yeah, locust as well, but that's it's okay. We're starting to see all of these come in. I mean, thankfully, they're all just firing the LRMs at the probably the, the most guarded thing I've got. So that sort of works for us. I could... Perhaps just fire another salvo at this Phoenix Hawk and potentially knock it down. I don't know how long the overheat lasts, but. Sort of like to have this thing knocked down. If it doesn't just destroy it, which it did. Okay, cool. Enemy down. Oh, yeah, of course you get to move again. <laughs> Go on then. <laughs> Move up. Another assassin. Again, you're just going for like the best target for me, really. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I'll just keep you guarding like half the time. No, because you've got really good attacks. Um. Right. What do we want to do here then? Kill the Jenna. Can I... Do I get like um Thingy shots on it or something? Oh, okay. Oh, do I get obscured by... Yeah, I get obscured by buildings as well. So I could actually do that. I mean, you're going to overheat yourself. Actually, what? No, oh, wait, no. What do you have here? Just jump jets. Two lasers. Jump jet. Lasers, so you... Yeah, that makes sense. Take off an M. I think it's better that, yeah, probably. I might as well just hit the thing that's already slightly damaged. Uh, does it not tell us where the ammo is? Hmm. Well, let's just, like, actually hit the thing that's already slightly damaged on it. Because why not? Could be lucky and just hit the thing that's actually got the SRM ammo in. Right, the Vindicate's in a super bad place though. Oh god, I need to move that. You have to move right now. Oh, you can't read. Really, um, hmm. You're in a super, super duper bad place. Um. I'd really like to get you out of line of sight of things, but that's just not going to happen. Mm, you'd only be able to hit things with large lasers, and you couldn't hit that. Yeah, nah. What can you do? I think using Ooh. Good to go. I 
think this is a vigilance potentially thing. But is it on you? Actually, it's probably on both. Over here, get the range on these because these have got medium laser, medium laser, SRMs, medium. It's just the LRMs I'd have to worry about. So, yeah, if I get you as far back as possible, but then still hit that. Moving out might lose entrenched, does it? Oh. It doesn't. No, cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, you also are gonna get vigilance. But you're more likely to stay closer. Um I, I do need to start getting some hits on these. Um Probably this assassin is the worst one. I can't remember what was back here now. Ugh. And then if I j jump. Back here and just get a good shot on this assassin. Uh, that would give us like loads of things. And they'd probably all pretty much target this thing that's going to have like the some of the better events. At least a bit. Oh, wait. Fire everything. Oh. Fire everything? It's only a little bit overheat. Warning. Heat exceeding recommended level. They're like all going to go now. Oh. Um. Commander. Well, that's slightly annoying. Because now you're not actually really going to be able to fire again. Actually, no, you could. Just with all SRMs. Oh. Perfect. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Actually. Possibly. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's my camera crashed. Uh oh. Yeah, it has. Just stopped for no reason. I don't know how long it's been like that, but. Fear. I know I was frozen in fear. That's what it was. <laughs> I didn't see what happened, but the locust moved and shot at something. Probably the Vindicator. It's just trying to really take that down. Um, speaking of... Why? Why, 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 why? 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 Can I just jump into it? for place. So annoying. Oh, wait. It's, yeah, it's you because of the initiative order, of course. Um, what if I mostly turn you so you're not actually getting hit on the damage side and then just hit the Oh, because you've got... No, you do have vision. So at least you're not facing so badly. Please destroy that, Jenna. No. Oh. Solid connection on that one. Oh, it was a javelin, yes. I 
And that's actually, do you know, this, is, this is the mech I actually want them to hit, really. Waiting for orders. Right, you gotta probably just kill this Jenna. Hmm. Oh, it's a weapon. Milia. Do you reckon Milia? Oh, it's got nothing. Yeah, I guess I could do that. <laughs> Green Commander. It, welcome. Thanks so much for the. Uh, blah, blah. Mm. Can't speak. Thanks so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. And welcome along. Only 40 damage though, but yeah, I suppose if it. Yeah. Go on then. Die. Mm. Unless I missed it, but I didn't. That's also a good target for you to go to. My completely undamaged mech, sure. Um, you do that. It's actually you now, isn't it? Hmm. Oh, do we just... Cold shot. And then we move. Because we might just take out this assassin. Well, we'll probably won't. Hmm. And then move you. I wouldn't be able to move you. I could move you there and get a chevron. That thing's in the world of hurt right now. Not one of them to be target. I mean, not really because he's got less. Oh, uh, yeah, good point. Good point. Could have done that. Could have done that, actually. Because they're all going to target these outside of cover, aren't they? Yeah. Hmm. No, I should have. Uh, yeah, you're right. I should have done that. I should have probably just moved the uh, Shadow Hall. But I don't want to move him up because he's got LRMs. And if I move him too close, it's going to be annoying to hit anything. Oh, me Vindicator. That shot went internal. Ah, uh, no. The problem I had with the Vindicator is... Couldn't even... Can I sprint you anywhere better? Oh... They're just going to keep battering this thing, like, constantly. Good to go. Good to go. But, 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 you know, this is a good time to just, like... Get rid of this assassin. What is that assassin like? Yeah, it's still it's still got stuff, so it's worth getting rid. Actually, yeah, yeah, I could actually stay in cover and just hit it. And just actually, yeah, just hit with everything. No, don't hit with everything again. You don't need to hit with me. Yeah, this should get it. <laughs> Oh, inspired as well. No, right, okay. Hey, I lost a weapon. Ah, this isn't ideal. What did you lose? A medium laser. I mean, medium lasers, whatever. Commander? But we've got to get these in a better place. It's time it's not a big deal in the command, yeah. I wanna get face that way, so no, I wanna get face this way, so you're less they're less likely to hit the, the uh, arm and blow the other arm off. 
Yeah, they're more likely to hit the other the center torso, I guess, but. Hmm. But then that gives us loads of evasion. Now, what do I fire on, though? Probably the assassin. An AC. Oh, yeah, it, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, AC 5's on that side, so. Probably better at facing that way, right? Um, This assassin's got no chevrons. Might as well go with the best chance to hit. Even if that's probably going to survive the longest. I'd rather take them out. Hello. Oh, the locust is out of cover. Yes, Commander. Orders. Okay, I'm still trying to decide on how best. Not, not Decker. Sorry, I, I want. To, I need to. Um, really need to move. Me vindicate it somewhere better. Well, I wonder if I've done that would let us... Uh, do I just... I'm just going to have to deal with the fact that... Uh, hmm. I'm just going to have to deal with it. The fact that... Uh, you're damaged. I'd love to have actually got more, um, got some cover on, on her, but didn't really have much of a choice I could do. They're, of course, going straight for the Vindicator. No, they're not. Javelin is Blackjack? Yeah, okay. Right. You just go up and give a world of hurt to this assassin, I think. With everything, as you can now. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Unsteady is going to come up and punch. Oh, for God's sake. I'm taking a pounding, Commander. What's up, boss? We're all taking a horrible pounding right now it's so annoying uh good to go oh wait hold on hit the damn thing in the back I want to be facing like uh no no that would be no hmm there i think so i want mostly facing like that side Three mechs to go. I know, I know. I'm just trying to decide. Eventually, two mechs to go. Firing full 
Lockdown? Not so lucky. Standing by. Okay. Well, I actually get you in cover at least. And I guess we'll finally actually fight the shoot a bit on the locust. Position confirmed. No. <sighs> I don't want to shoot me mech in the back. Oh, uh, why did I do that? Let's just brace. <laughs> We're stupid. We'll just brace. I know. Things are not going. Things could have gone better. I think things could have gone better, but things also could have gone worse. Um. Waiting for orders. Ready for orders. Hmm. Ooh, we'll probably get something started on the uh, the javelin there, but I, I, if I get this assassin gone, it'll be gone, and it won't even get an action. So, hmm. we'll have to think about that. But I do actually need to go on a break there, and yeah, I see the hydration chat. I'll, I'll definitely have a drink. But yeah, I'm gonna go on a break. I do uh, mid roll ads, three minutes of ads every hour, just up pre rolls for people joining. And I only run the ads while I'm actually on break, so you don't miss anything during that time. I'll be back shortly.
Hello, and I'm back again. Um, I just realized, actually, I was just quickly looking over the, the uh, this javelin. It got its only weapon, the LR. Uh oh. Ah ha The newt. Still not a bird. Managed to avoid the bird somehow. Uh, yeah, it had its only weapon, the this LRM 15, destroyed. Um, so, and it's far enough away where it's not really going to hit anything. So, we take out this assassin now. And then we've got everything else to fight this locust and then javelin. Good to go. So that's interesting. And I'm probably gonna punch this locust. But let's see what we can do here. Let's um I'm gonna hit this with LRMs to at least knock it down. All lizardy critters now. It, do you know what? It was a chameleon before. So yeah, it was chameleon and snake and now a newt. So it's like, yeah. It's, it's now lizards. <laughs> Done. This is... Ah, cool. Okay, good, 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 good. That's actually really good. Um, right, you're probably just going to go up and punch this locust. Cool. Still got three chevrons. Um. Death from above. Ooh. Ooh, 60%. I think we'll do it, you know. Go on, go on, hit it, hit it. No! I'm so sad. Um. Right. Well, do you know what? You get to shoot this. I copy. Engaging with the target. Hey. Hey. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes. No. I didn't know you were in range. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, go. that couldn't have been actually more lucky right now. Where is it? Oh, I thought you came up over here. Oh. Okay. Oh well. You know what then? I want to get you a good chance of hitting things or hitting it well. Into the back. Absolutely. Let's just jump this way then, actually. I don't want to, that like, sort of, I don't know if it'll have a chance of hitting me. I don't think so, because we're not, like, sort of in range of that, but, yeah. I should have probably done a prison strike. The Obi Wan. Kiting bugs on it and Helldivers 2. <laughs> yeah. How's the how's the bug war going? I need to play more Helldivers 2. Not for a bit. Oh, do you know what? Why don't I just, you know. Hit it with things so it's got a better chance of hitting with other things. Actually do some damage as well. Paint folks for 50, 60 kill streak. <laughs> I don't think you like get anything extra for, for just the big kill streak. Affirmative. So yes, commander. Right, you fire on it as well. Go for it. Oh, and you've just done it. Okay, cool. <laughs> I don't even have to use all of the uh, stuff. Cool. Now we just get to go and do the thing. Come on, everyone. Right, Commander. Move. On my 
we we'll have to go to both of the things, so it's annoying. But it's something to help the team. Yeah. Ready for orders. Right. For one, you. Oh no, I wanted to move you in. There's me Shadow Hawk. You have like by far the biggest movement. I know we've got samples. We have the asset, Commander. I know we've got the asset, but one the other thing. Moving to position. The actual personnel, you know. Better than getting a 500 kg bomb dropped on your head. That's true. That's true. Oh, we actually have to move everyone all. So I feel like you're far more likely to get killed by, like, say, the, the Eagle Cluster Bombs and things like that more than anything. Okay. Successful mission. That was difficult. <laughs> but we did it. Um, and, yeah. We didn't even get much money for it. We definitely didn't get enough money for it to cover the costs. Oh. Uh, injured 40 days. Only one injured, though. Shadow Hawk's effectively undamaged as well, but that was at the back all the time. Okay, we... Uh, oh, oh. I mean, we could finish up two mechs, but these are just two light mechs that I wouldn't use and would only use to sell. Um... I think I want the assassin on a 101 part. I want another centurion. Not sure. I'd love to. S I'd love to see if I could like yeah uh, see the actual mech from the part. Hmm. Mechs to sell. I was thinking about doing that, but then potentially... Oh, wait, a Phoenix Hawk part as well. Yeah, sure. I didn't see that. Yeah, I was thinking the Assassin 101, but I think I'd probably go for the Phoenix Hawk. The Assassin 21 looked crap, actually. <laughs> Um, right, confirm that and let's see what else we get. I mean, we got the 101 anywhere. Cool. And this Centurion part. Oh, I'm not going to complain of that. Cool. Right, well, <laughs> we'll repair up. Um, that'll probably take a while to repair up. It's probably not going to. Mm, maybe it's a one. It's probably going to take. More time to repair the mechs than it is to actually heal our injured uh, mech warrior, though. That mech you asked for is cleared for fighting. I learn on the escort sale mission not bringing the 500 kilogram bomb on it. I've rarely used the 500 kg bomb. Um, it seemed interesting at first, but honestly, I think there's like far, far better stratagems to use. Um, that mech is ready to fight, Commander. I'm not. I'm. It's fine. Uh, what well, we're going to send to storage. We're going to send the Logos to storage, and we'll also send the Janet to storage. We're going to send them both anywhere. Probably the spider. I don't think we're really using it. Anyway. Let's repair things. Logos, I'm not going to use. So let's just send it to storage. Spider. I don't know. I don't hate the idea of having an extra mech just in case. But am I ever going to use a spider? Probably not. Lost a few escorts mission because too many NPCs died because Big Bones killing everything. I didn't think you could lose them from them dying. It's more of running out of time. I mean, you lose a lot of um, requisition from it, but I mean, I'm already at the point where I don't need requisition uh, slips anymore. At least not until they release more things. I'm trapped. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Just repair. I think I've got to go into them. Yeah, so I've got to actually go into them when I've actually got to replace 
components. It's just a medium laser. Has this got too much ammo? It's 15 rounds, so it's, it's actually only got 30 rounds. No, I think I'd keep the laser. Don't, no, not, not a pulse, I don't think. I could put a pulse on something, though. Hmm. Like, I've got my laser boat, don't I? A repair all. Okay. Oh, there is a repair all. That's handy. How long is that going to take? Oh, it says uh, 10 days. Okay. Um, no, 15 days. Okay. And then the Vindicator, which took the most damage, actually. Ugh. Oh, it's a bunch of heat sinks. This was our laser ball. Do we? Possibly, though. No, the pulse is two tons. Hmm. What did we have? Oh, the heat sinks. Duh. And that, the pulse generates more, oh, more heat. Oh. I had it like that, didn't we? And then we had two medium lasers. I mean, I don't hate the idea of doing that. If I was going to do that, though, I'd probably put the pulse in the head. I'm less likely to lose it then. <laughs> the pulse, uh, the pulse, yes, the pulse, it absolutely does more damage, but it doesn't do more damage than two medium lasers. But then they both have to hit us. And uh, hello, Neo Morchidius. Is that correct? That might be wrong. I'm sorry if it's wrong. Welcome along. Yeah, let's probably do that. It's fine. I probably, honestly, I probably say like very, most people's names wrong. So yeah, can I can only apologize. Well, try me bet. <laughs> honestly, when I'm reading out stuff in uh, the game as well, like reading out the, the names or anything, it's I, I might as well not try. <laughs> Sometimes. I already checked the store, didn't I? Yeah, yes, I did. Although there is... Oh, that's a different feeling of Hawk. Wait, which part did we get? Uh, 1k, right. I hear we've just got, like, a lot of single parts of things. It's so annoying. So many single parts. Right, let's actually have another look at some contracts and see. Uh, let's avoid two and a half at the minute, I think. <laughs> um, maybe even we'll go down to a one and a half. A little, um, a training day one. Actually, training day would <laughs> probably work out for us right now, even if it's like kind of a harder one to do because we'd be able to do that straight away wouldn't we but that is a travel contract which 18 days is as long as it would take everything to repair you're looking forward to dragon dogma, dogma 2 oh that, that's out soon isn't it i'm still not sure of what uh if i'm gonna do anything about that yet because i never really got through the first one i never it was like I played it and I just just like sort of lost interest in it quite early. Um so I'm I'm a bit reluctant to actually to go into the second one. I, I think I'm gonna hold off my judgment. But then to be honest, with most new games, what I'll do is I'll hold off judgment anyway. I never pre-order on it. I never do anything like that. Uh, I stopped that a while ago. So um yeah. Well I'll I'll see what it's like, I guess, before I actually decide on it really fully. Okay. What was this anyway? Destroy base. Two star. Two star. Two star. Two skull. 
Same, same difference. Let's go for that. Destroy base. Actually, let's probably take a bit more money. Just in case. Uh, wait, no, I'm, what am I doing? I, I've got to wait. I've got to wait. <laughs> I've got to wait a few days. Um, Like what? Oh, 32 days for the Vindicator. Why did I think it was less than that? Ah. Oh. Um. Then do I... Actually, do you know what? Maybe we do this one. Oh, no, because then it's back to the Weldry and I don't want to be there. <laughs> Actually. So no, we'll we just wait. We just we just wait. Yeah, we'll we'll uh, we'll just have to wait for the thirty-two days. Oh my god. Does the does the store ever change while you're here, or is it only like when you've moved around a bit? Noble bonds. It's not like I'm the only noble born person on the ship, says Decker, slumping it low in the guest chair. I mean there's you. Why can't Medusa harass you about this stupid idea? Apparently, when Decker asked to speak to you privately about something, Darius wouldn't understand. It was about the trials and tribulations of being nobility. Well, what is Medusa's idea, you ask? I don't know. Something about cooling systems. She wants to use my connections to get, an idea of, uh, the, get the idea to people who can implement it. And he doesn't believe me when I say my birth doesn't automatically open doors like that. And even if it did, I can't waste it on bullshit. That gives you a planet of luck, clearly hoping for advice or at least sympathy. Um, not sure if those ever change, honestly. Oh, really? Okay. Not like on Mech Warrior then. Um, empathize, but don't get involved. Send Medusa to you. Tell him to deal with it himself. I'll speak to Medusa. Oh, this actually... <laughs> that guy looks relieved to pass along the burden to you. And later that afternoon, Medusa sort of your door. Can the roughly written idea and can immediately say that it may actually be onto something? Tell Medusa to work up when it's full spec. You can arrange a follow-up so you can wish you cheaper Varenian in there to review for more detail. Just has gained the following for 30 days. High spirits. Unfortunately, I don't use Medusa, so that's why I wasn't really sure if it, like, really annoyed him. <laughs> Got a new financial report for you, Commander. Oh, yeah, the financial report. Do I still spend a bit more? I don't think so. I want to save up some more money because I want to get Max. And I'll be traveling around a bit. I mean, I should probably have traveled here, really. Procedural generate stock. Um, well, I mean, it would have been anywhere, but I, I, I would have thought it would have changed. It would have made sense for it to sort of change, but... Um, not sure if the command exceeded. Yeah. Because I know at least with MechWare, you had to move away from the place for a bit, and then you could return and, and get, get stuff there. Okay. I feel like I'm I'm using so much time to, to repair this. I should have probably just moved elsewhere. I should have just moved elsewhere. I'm sort of committed now to doing doing that now. Uh oh. Oh god, I just seen this million seabills thing. <laughs> it's the first thing I see before I even read the thing. Hell of a deal. Why plant side on uh Kimmy? Glitch uh, sinks over to you in Sunmire. Good news, Commander. I know a guy who can get us an Ak Alcris. Tiger Falcon. A what? But it ain't cheap. It's an exotic, highly sought after animal. And I'm going to need a million sea bells. <laughs> well, so one question, some night arches a brow. Why do we need a bird that eats people? <laughs> oh, birds. Oh, now birds. Uh oh. Glitch grins. We need it only temporarily for a look collector. He's got his own personal zoo in it all. <laughs> I know it's a flying cow. 
Uh, got his own personal zoo, and I happen to have a bit of cash as vintage mech part. I can't get you this part. I need some extra hands. Decker will do. And funds by the bird. And then can trade it for this for this eccentric billionaire. You'll be <laughs> you'll be getting a hell of a deal on these pristine parts. <laughs> this is a bad idea, even by our standards. It's my damage her eyes. You're not taking the scheme seriously, are you, Commander? Oh, I don't know, actually. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> this is such a bad idea. Do it. Okay, I'm gonna do it. A million sea bills. Uh oh, criminal. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> you shrug. This has been the most convoluted plan I've ever heard. But if anyone can make it with you, it's you glitch. You get the funds for this operation, but make sure you come back in one piece. Aye, aye, Commander. This isn't my first illicit animal deal. <laughs> what? Some I rolled our eyes as glitch the poets with a wink. <laughs> oh my god. Hours later, as you're inspecting the leopard, a cargo ship approaches, landing pads. Then my patches the ship uh, ship's heel. Special delivery, Commander. Glitch's voice crackles over the comms. We got free shipping included. That Tiger Falcon was worth more than I thought. Oh. Um. I made some new friends too, Dega says. Say the word and I'll acquire whatever you need. Why don't you tell me about your new friends once you land? You signal to Sunmire and she opens the leopard's bear door. Cargo ship lands nearby and the mech warrior jumps out. Proudly uh, revealing the gleaming mech parts inside. It doesn't say as what parts I get though. Deck has grinned the following tags, criminal, awesome. And glitch gained the uh, following tag for 30 days, high spirit. And I'll lose a million sea bills. Oh, what do I get? <gasps> oh. I don't think an SRM2... Even if the three plus is worth a million C bills, I think I'm being slightly gypped. That's not worth a million C bills. It's nowhere near. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm gonna keep it just because. Mm. <laughs> Oh, that's the worst. Let's check what criminal means. Might give us... Oh, worth... Right, 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 right. Um, who got that? Decker. Commander. Does it tell us? Check it past the left. I'm familiar with the criminal in the world. It doesn't say... Hmm. I don't know. Oh, I'm. S <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> you hope it does. I hope it does as well. Because otherwise. Otherwise. Um, we spent a million on. On nothing. You said it was worth more than you thought. And oh. I thought I was going to get something good. Right, let's do this one. We're going to do this mission. Do I want to take more salvage? I, I, do you know what? I sort of, do you know what? I, I sort of need money right now. It, it's almost like we've spent a million seabills on nothing. Oh, you get a cheap price or they approach you and invite you to be the to the pirate gang. Oh. I mean, that sounds cool.
Wait, what are we doing here? Destroying a base, that's fair. A local government manufacturing plant, Nesky. Command interface initiated. Oh yeah, Glitch has got the Hyrie um, spirits as well. I'm not entirely sure what that does, but I'm sure it's a nice buff to have. We're tasked with destroying several manufacturing structures at the target facility. Move the facility and start wrecking the buildings. Be wary of the security forces, but the building should take priority. Hmm. I mean, this is going to have rich surely as well, perhaps. Oh, yeah. Maybe he's... Well, maybe he's not. No, it will. Surely, it must. All right, let's... Um... On my way. Well, let's just make our way up, initially. Affirmative. It's a bit annoying that our LRM board also is the fastest mech. Cool. That's fine. Right. Thought I'd have a contact. Um, okay. On my way. I mean, we could... What does Marsh do? Oh. Less stability damage. That sort of makes sense. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Do we see what that is yet? I would have thought that was in range. Wait. Oh. Did that actually just jump over from there to there? Is that actually what just happened? I mean, okay. I hear ya. We can sort of get... There's not much cover here, is there? Oh, you've got, of course, so much chevrons. Hmm. Commander. I have a horrible chance to hit. I'm more tempted to just... Oh, yeah, there's turrets. Of course. And there's another mech over there. Um, Sort of tempted to just sensor lock. Because that's actually going to help a bit. Maybe we'll even see what this other mech is. And then we'll have to watch out for this turret. Good to go. Um I don't wanna get too too close, but I also don't wanna be too far away. You betcha. Oh, and there's another mech up here. And another turret. And then there's, uh, yeah, there's another turret at the back. It's fine. Let's actually keep you a bit further back. Way. Everyone should stay just slightly further back. Good night, Mary. I hope you have a good one. Good sleep. Ugh. Rubbish. Should have probably looked at the other things, really. It's annoying that this is all walked. Not a f mm. Not really gonna get good hits. What oh, catapult? Oh no. That's going to be a lot of LRMs. Okay.
Right, unsteady is a bit annoying. Gonna be the bigger annoyance. I mean, you kind of like, like fire almost everything at it. Oh, this is a medium mech as well. Okay. Wait, I've got a fifty-five chance from here and. No, it's then it's in 40. Wait, what? I'm confused. Oh, that's in from there, 55%. Oh, okay. Well, a 50% chance of actually being in cover sort of makes sense. It does put us I a bit close to these. Though. What is the other mech? We still don't know. It's not quite close enough. Well, let's just... Hmm. These turrets are going to be an absolute pain in the backside as well. Oh, you're unsteady. Who's actually that? I'd love a better chance. Oh, I shouldn't have gone for you first. Because you're potentially going to do like the most damage. Oh, well. I mean, <laughs> no, I'm not putting myself out in like. Uh... Yeah, I've probably done this like wrong. Well, is that actually going to give that slightly worse? Is it? About the same. And then someone can actually go in front of him as well. Sprint jump. Jumping. Giving him everything I yeah, this catapult is going to actually cause us some annoyance. A little bit, maybe. It's, oh, I only took out, the, of Target course, the lasers. Dig. Hello, welcome. Roar. <laughs> okay, you do get slightly up because. Yeah, but oh, it's so annoying that you're actually slightly up. Um, so I want to reserve. So this has got to go first. Noodle, a noodle dig. I know. Wait, that's already structure exposed. Oh, I should. I need to move you. 
Actually, yeah, oh yeah, because you've got no armor on your arms because you've got nothing in the arms. Okay, that's fine. Actually, I'm not so bothered about that. I don't want to move everyone quite so close together because the stray shots are kind of annoying, but I also do kind of want to move you over here. It doesn't help yeah. much with the LRMs from the turrets, but, you know. Oh, yeah, we haven't actually seen what this is yet. It's a hunchback. Oh, 4P is the laser one. Yeah. Wait. I'm taking internal damage. Has this just got like zero cooling in it? It only shot. It only shot the four lasers. <laughs> um, you're probably taking yeah more damage to your arm. What can I do for you? Right. Yes, Commander. I'm not gonna lie. I almost want to jump you like kind of close, but not really. Is this a terrible idea? I'd get hit by like two turrets. Actually, this is an LRM turret anyway. I'm going to get hit by it anyway. I can't avoid that one really, but I'd just like to get the good chance of hitting this catapult. Maybe I'll do that after. Waiting on you, Commander. Once I've done some more shots. Chevron's going to be better than alpha the Earth. Uh, what's it? When I shoot you, you'll take it and like it. What's up, boss? I can't get more Chevrons with you without jumping, so I'm probably going to have to jump with you. Into the water, help cool down. Oh. Tango down. I thought that was going to last a bit longer than that. I'm sort of not going to lie. Right, the hunchback's actually going to be... Oh, these are both annoying, actually. Aren't they? Oh, the turrets, the turrets, the turrets. Don't forget the turrets exist. Um, right, we'll just move over here and fire at the javelin, I guess. Just have to deal with the fact that that hunchback exists for now. That's hunchback's probably got more chevrons anyway right now. And that's probably a good hit. That's in um That's in Marsh as well. I thought Marsh reduced. I've been um The what's it the um stability damage? Oh yeah, that pushes back there thing as well. Okay. Hunchback's got no Thingy. Oh god. Words. Evasion. So I think I'd probably actually go for that. Position confirmed. Yeah, they're gonna actually get up the javelin. It's got a leg destroyed. Oh man. Barely hit, Commander. Like, what's it actually got then? 
It's still got all its weapon. <laughs> but it's had a leg destroyed and an arm destroyed. Yeah, it's not in a good position, is it? Centurion, you sort of need cooling. Couldn't they just like actually send you in the water? Face this way, so I'm actually facing the turret. That javelin should die, I think. But I just want to sort of send some hurt here. Right, this is going to overheat, but that's fine. You're actually going to go for... Oh, Vindicator. I thought it was going to go for the Shadowhawk. Yeah, with Marsh getting 50% stability reduction from all attacks, it was stood in um, Marsh and actually got taken straight out. No, oh, it does have an evasion. I've still got a good chance to hit that. <laughs> Standing by. Why'd I say it? Why'd I say it? Hmm. This is uh oh, these two medium lasers. You've got it. Yeah, I did put the pulse laser on you. Yeah. Actually, do anything with the javelin, but on my way might be a mistake. I don't know. Do I want to fight? On it. Do some good damage, please. No. I should really not have these so much close to each other. These straight shots are like being horrible. Morning. Oh, no. and then who's this going for? Best option actually for me. <laughs> This has nearly got a bit. Oh no, still got decent stability. You're still massively overheating. Oh. Waiting on you, Commander. Um. I want to get this hunchback yep, gone. Probably first. Because it, it's going next. It's it's like actually going there. So, but lucky. No. Unsteady, but no knockdown. Oh, oh, there it did a full shot. Internal structure damage. Could have been worse, actually. Could have been worse. I can't believe that you're just still super going though. Oh. Uh huh. No. 
Not with the not with the blackjack. We need to move back away from these these turrets, so at least we're not getting hit by the laser turrets. I think. Don't need to tell me twice. Got it. No, oh, the stupid. Yes, Commander. Affirmative. Come on, come on, please take out this stupid hunchback. Firing. Well, the heating's destroyed on a laser boat. Punchback's probably not a bad, bad thing to have. Um, oh god, everything's gonna hit this thing, and oh, ah, oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Cool down a bit. Warning. Leg damage imminent. Oh, no. Hit that. They've got a sensor lock on me. Actually hit that. Hit your friend, I dare you. Straight shot. Are you gonna oh you're gonna like The Vindicator is probably the most damaged one, so oh, that probably makes sense. Oh, I've lost two medium lasers. That's a bit annoying, actually. Um, can you want to use Vigilance? Remove your stability problems. Um, you're still quite hot, so it's possibly going to be just punch. That is going to expose it back. I need to get rid of this javelin. Engaging. Oh, but... But then it's the hunchbacks now. Right, I need to... Oh. Oh, that hit meat. Really move you, actually. So bad. Oh, you hit three targets. Interesting. What can I do for you? Orders. Waiting for orders. Tired of these turrets as well, but. Uh, we're only getting hit by the LRM ones at the minute. Oh, good. Good. Cool. Enemy down. Oh, things, things are not going so great. Could have gone better. Oh, I wish I could. <laughs> I wish I could do a melee attack still, but no. Ah. We can get some chevron. Roger. You're going to be back here anyway because you want to do it. Huh? Um. I hear ya. Good punch, but honestly, Commander. I need to move you desperately. Please jump. Hmm. I'm in the cover. Oh, you've only got the large laser and the um pulse laser. This is stupid. This Four. thing's gonna. Oh no! Wait, I've got me me black me black jack still. I forgot me black jack. Actually, no, don't sprint, jump. Get rid of this thing. Thanks. 
No. Oh my god, this javelin is. Oh, there we go. Oh, I think. Did we destroy its leg? Must have. Right, okay. And then at least these can't actually see us so much, I don't think. Or maybe they can. We need to start taking out these turrets. Not going to be a great chance, I don't think. But... Please destroy it. At least one of them. Um, oh, it's a shame I can't see anything yet. I'm gonna have to just sort of move. Oh, you're the LRM anyway, but that's fine. You will destroy it, turret by hitting it. It's annoying that the LRM turrets are at the back. I mean, it makes sense at the back, but. Like, why did we attack from this angle? Are we idiots? Good to go. Like, glitch you actually will be able to get a hit on it from this bar. Uh -huh. You might destroy that. If you hit it. Hey. <laughs> Alright. Uh oh, is it put us out of combat? Okay. Until there's the turrets at the other side. Got it. Acknowledged. On it. All right. I hear ya. How can I not see these turrets? So annoying. Wait. Can I? Oh, I'll be able to move you up and probably see this turret. That should get rid of it. Enemy structure is weakening. And we we'll actually hit a building. <laughs> Target destroyed. Unintentionally. Waiting on you, Commander. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Might as well do a multi shot because you're gonna be able to hit that with the thing, but you might be able to hit other targets. Yeah. Should probably just send the lasers after all one target. It's fine. Once this uh, thing's gone, it's it's gone. Are you even gonna hit this? Yeah, apparently. Again, no multi-target. Might as well hit one of that. Hit the other. And that go. Oh, that's actually a laser turret as well. I I've just realised. And then you should surely, surely just take out this turret. Got it. Good. Okay. <laughs> Easy. That turret is gone. And oh, you gotta move again. Not that it matters. We just need to now destroy the base, right? Just you move and just you know, just just destroy it. Just destroy it. You know. Everyone just hit one thing. <laughs> Everyone just hit one thing and it'll be gone. Waiting for orders. Target confirmed. Things could have gone better. Again. Good to go. I don't know if anyone was injured though, there might have been Looking actually. You don't need to meet us at the LZ. Just come pick us up. There's nothing here. <laughs> Mission successful. I mean, I guess at some point it's, it, you probably actually need to just like sort of destroy the base and just get out of there. But this wasn't the case. 
Ah. Uh, oh, injured 28 days. Uh, yeah, I've got to be careful with this indicator now, I feel. Did we get? Oh, we've got a catapult part. Uh, we don't have any of the other pits. We've got all three of the javelin because, yeah, the, um, I want actually to guard the hunchback. I wouldn't mind the um, laser hunchback either. Actually, I quite like it. Um, let's just go with that. Of course, it only gives us two javelin parts. <laughs> it's funny, though, because we could have taken two javelin parts and still not got the third. So it's like, whatever. I don't mind. I don't mind. I'll accept that. Anyway, um, I think with that, it will be actually the end of the stream. Um, that's actually a good, like a good thing to end on. Like just a um, good, like sort of end end of mission thing. Uh, when it actually loads, cool. Oh yeah, I forgot to give people experience as well. Oh. Okay, we might actually be able to get like some of the third skills now, but I wanted to see you what God, what the repairs are going to be. Because the exact same thing happened again here, where I've lost a bunch of heat sinks and lasers. I've got to be careful. I've got to be a bit more careful with the Vindicator. Um, oh, I've got an M laser plus, which I don't want to put in this anywhere, <laughs> particularly. I got that from the last mission. I must have. The uh, these otherwise are just repairs jobs, so that's actually fine. Yeah, Mac Warriors. Standing by. You're injured. I was. Oh yeah, I was thinking about. Mm, do I actually really want coolant vents? Hmm. Do not give the first. I'll probably give it to someone. I don't want to give it to the Vindicator that's been losing an arm constantly and it would go in the arm that's been lost constantly. Oh, I do get breaching shot though. Mech warrior training complete. Good to go. Waiting for orders. And both of these. I I have totally got to do these. Was I doing breaching shot? Or was I going No, I've already got an ace. I like one on the one I wanted on. Good to go. Yours always overheat. I tell you what, I'll get it. I'll get it because I might end up using it like with another another person anywhere. Really base hit. You're mostly gonna go in ranged mech, I think. So Health and rico. Oh, the health is for the actual mech warrior itself. Indirect fire pin on the E. I'm putting this guy in. Um, what's it all the time? In the the. Training confirmed, Commander. Sure, sure. Orders. Receiving. Right, I'll just leave it like that for now, but yeah, yeah, so I will be actually ending stream that I'll actually move over to the chatting screen a little bit. Because uh I think we're we're done we're done there for today. So yeah, it's been it's been good. Um I'll see who uh oh. Oh, just waiting for the giant <laughs> the the giant um area so we could actually get the full view of it. It was a fox. <sighs> fox. Oh. But yeah, we'll um See who can read on to today. Wonder what it was trying to say. Don't don't ever ask that. <laughs> no one needs to know what the fox says. Where are we going today? Um oh we haven't Oh, do you know what? I haven't actually uh, read on Shinru for a while, and Shinru's been really nice. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna drop read by them. <laughs> this is exactly why we don't ask what the fox says. <laughs> Do 
cube are you a fox uh oh <laughs> <laughs> but anyway yeah it's been nice um again um battle has been battle has been it's, it's it's good it's good i'm enjoying this um we should be back again with more battle tech on thursday not tomorrow because i don't stream wednesdays but yeah and then um hopefully we'll actually go back to doing the sort of variety games on the friday again i know i did start the friday with battletech last week but this is sort of like the sort of so i'll probably have like a, a main game i'm playing and then yeah and then we'll do something else on the friday so yeah we'll do that um but it's been nice everyone have a good midweek and i hope to see you again on the thursday till then have a good one Bye-bye. Bye-bye.